Hi, I'm Ari. Food waste is a problem. So that's why today we're gonna be making a cake out of something that we usually throw away. I'm gonna cut off the tops and the really crispy parts at the bottom. And then we're gonna cut these guys into one inch pieces. The recipe for this banana peel cake is from Lindsay Jean Hard's Cooking with Scraps cookbook. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to save these bananas for some smoothies in the future. I'm gonna put these buddies in to boil. We're gonna cover it and lower the heat and let it simmer for 10 minutes. I am going to preheat this oven to 350 degrees. Oh, I gotta start it. I like to compost my food scraps. I put them in my freezer so my trash doesn't smell. And then I take my compost out of the freezer and I compost it. it smells like hay and bananas. Okay, now we're gonna strain this. We're gonna puree this with one fourth cup of the banana water. Mush. According to banana experts, there's over a thousand types of bananas. Despite that, we only really see one variety in stores, the Cavendish. We're gonna make the batter with butter and one and a half cups of sugar. Now we're gonna mix and we're gonna cream the butter and sugar. We're gonna add one egg yolk at a time and we're gonna mix in that yellow orb. Next orb. Now we're gonna put in our banana peel mixture. Did you know that bananas are actually classified as berries. Now I'm going to add my buttermilk, which is almond milk and some lemon. Mm. Okay, flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna really mix it. We're adding the dry things to the wet things. Mix and mix and mix and mix and mix. Ooh. We're gonna beat these egg whites. That looks like some nice peaks to me. Now we're gonna add in the egg whites. Ooh, it's like a little floof. We're gonna fold that in very gently. It's time for the oven. I already buttered and floured these cake tins. And so now I'm just gonna divide them evenly. Ooh, it looks nice and banana-y. If you're allergic to latex, you don't want to have this because there's similar proteins in this as latex. We're gonna let these guys bake. Have a good bake. We're gonna set the timer to 25 minutes. It's nighttime now. And the cakes, I believe, are ready. Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna take these guys out and I'm gonna let them cool. Now we're gonna make the brown sugar frosting. That was butter. I'm gonna set the timer for two minutes. Now I gotta stir in this brown sugar, oh, constantly. So the variety of banana that we eat today is called the Cavendish. But before 1960, there was another banana that dominated the market, and that was the Gros Michel. And it was wiped out and ravaged by the Panama disease, or banana wilt. And some people say that the Cavendish is potentially under threat of the same thing happening to it, 
especially because climate change is exacerbating crop diseases. Seems like a reason to stop monocropping to me. And we're gonna add in a fourth cup of almond milk to it. And then we're gonna let that cool. Okay, so I kind of think parchment paper is a scam because look, I didn't use parchment paper, it's fine. And I have my two lovely banana rounds. And now we just add in the powdered sugar and stir it around. I think that is some good frosting. We're gonna frost it and it's two layers. We're gently gonna put the second layer on the cake. Do a little squishing. Oh, it's getting a little messy, but that's nice, maybe. I like the look of the edges exposed, so I'm gonna leave them, and I don't like too much frosting, but you can frost as you desire, and whoop. Well, let me fix that. How's that? A little cake belly button. Moment of truth. Yes, yummy. I tried my best to get all my ingredients zero waste, and this is the trash that I made, and this is my compost. I don't taste any peel. It just tastes like a regular cake. The peel was supposed to add some fluff, and I think it did that. It tastes most overwhelmingly like brown sugar, but I would definitely recommend this cake. I think it's very good. The cake is good. The cake is good. Oh.